Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to reading your comments. You should make a vlog of working out. Also, I would love to hear you sing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. It would fit your voice very well. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Something else for you. Mark, every now and then you've said that you watch YouTube poops. What's your favorite poop? Well, it's hard to remember specifically what YouTube poop is my favorite because they kind of all blur together, but any of the King of the Hill YouTube poops are amazing, uh, but my favorite is probably one of the old DBZ poops, way before they were even called YouTube poops. Uh, it, it's one that made uh, over 9,000 famous. Actually, it's not even that one. That's not my favorite. It's My favorite is uh, the one where Goku is constantly, now he's really getting huge. Like, um, it's just really stupid because, well, I mean, it's a YouTube poop, so obviously it's stupid, but you guys gotta watch. I'll put a link right here so you could see it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna crack up if Mark ends up looking like Vanoss when he works out. Good thing he's starting. Get some weightlifting and push-ups in between you and gaming. That's what I do. Ooh, I'm Vanoss Gaming! Look at me! Have you ever seen Vanoss and me in the same place at the same time? That's what I thought. Oh, you have? Oh, well, all right then. Hey, Mark, how high is your IQ? I would guess at least over 80. Thanks for giving me a lot of wiggle room on that one. That really makes me feel so much better. I've never actually taken an official IQ test, so I have no interest of knowing, because then it would actually put a number to how stupid I actually am. So I'm not gonna find out. Let's just assume I, I belong in Mensa, or I'm literally Forrest Gump. But hey, Forrest Gump accomplished a lot, so IQ's not everything. Do the squats for the potatoes! Make Mother Russia proud! <laughs> Mark, do you want to RP? Sure, I'd love to roleplay. I can be Santa, and you can be one of my bastard <laughs> Who is your favorite character from Hoonie Pop? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't know if I have a favorite. Uh, Given that they're all anime characters and not real, and that my decision does not reflect in any way my personality in any way, I have to go say Celeste, because something about big blue aliens is really good for me to have in my life. Hey Mark, when are you gonna continue Undertale? I'm just wondering. I, I answered this a little bit ago because I was tired of everyone in every video constantly asking me where Undertale is. It was the victim of unfortunate timing. There was a lot of things going on in my life, and then, you know, Matt and Ryan came back, and then it got pushed to the back burner, but I am going to play Undertale very soon. You are gonna see something very substantial very soon. And don't get me wrong, I love the game. It's not that I stopped playing because I didn't like the game, it's I stopped playing because I didn't know if I was playing the game for the right reason because I actually spoke with, a, like, a friend of the developer of the game, and, you know, I, I spoke with Barry and the Game Grumps and everyone else of my friends that had played the game, and they all told me about how great the game was, but I always felt that people were ignoring the genocide side of the game, and personally, I wanted to experience that because I have a little bit, you know, it, it's weird. I kind of want to experience some of the tragedy that has, you know, there is to offer, but also, people were right in saying that I can't have the full effect of the tragedy unless I'm attached to the characters. So what I want to do is I want to do a full, huge, many hour long mega episode of the pacifist playthrough that's all going to be in one video, huge, like six hours long, however long it takes, and then I'm going to do another video where I just do the genocide route, and then there'll be two videos, one for the pacifist, one for the genocide, play the pacifist first, then do the genocide, and that way it's all out in the open, you guys can enjoy it for what it is, and you don't have to wait much longer. So I'm going to do my best, I'm going to get to that when I can, it'll be soon, hopefully by the end of this week. Everyone happy? Cool. Do the Christmas! Okay. Yeah! You like that Christmas? Santa's gonna come down your stocking and- Oh. <laughs> Mark, how do you do the sex? Well, it's uh, here. This is how you do the sex! It's good for me! Me! Mark, can you make the most MLG 10 seconds ever? Alright. 
Yeah, you like that Christmas? Yeah, Doritos, Mountain Dew, Edgy, and Ted. This is 10 out of 10 Christmas doing sex. Yeah! I feel you should create a bloopers video. Like, make a video with all the hilarious outtakes that don't make it in the official videos that you post. Well, I mean, it's, in the normal gameplay videos, I don't have any bloopers because I just put all of my mistakes in because I'm too lazy to cut them out. But I do make a lot of blooper videos for the other sketches that we do. We put them out all the time. Here's some links, like, down in the description below to the various bloopers. Some of them were probably even unlisted, so there you go. Since you're half Korean, will you ever try to visit Seoul or anywhere else in Korea? I, yeah, I am half Korean and I have a lot of family that lives in Korea. I've been there about... I think four times. The first time I went, I was too young to really remember it, but uh, I went a few other times and it was really cool to see how Korea developed over time because I'll, I'll describe it the weird way that it developed because the first time I went, uh, my grandparents had a house and it was like in the middle of, you know, farmland, you know, mud roads and stuff like that. And then, you know, every time that I went after, the city that it was on the outskirts of just kept growing bigger and bigger. I came there in like five year intervals and bigger and bigger to the point where suddenly there was like pollution everywhere and there's cars everywhere and everything's a paved road. So yeah, I'd like to go back to Korea someday because uh, I, I want to learn Korean just so I can talk with my family uh, because I've got like seven aunts, some of which are married, a giant number of cousins, you know, my grandma's still there. Uh, and there's a lot of people that, you know, know that I'm doing YouTube now. So hi, family in Korea, if you're watching this. Hello, how are you doing? Shout out to you. All right. Hey Mark, I really need you to see this. You have done more for me than I can ever tell you. Your videos have helped me th get through one of the toughest times in my life, and I carry your message around with me every day on my arm in the form of a pink mustache tattoo. Thank you for all you do. Well, thank you for that. That's amazing. You have an actual pink mustache tattoo on your arm. Uh, I hope the message that I'm giving you guys is good, and, and most of the time, the message that I give is that I just believe that you guys can do whatever it is you want to do, because I'm sitting here in a stupid room playing stupid games making stupid videos but I also love the idea that I you know I put out a message of goodwill and hope that you guys take it up and you know spread a little good in the world and do uh, do some charity now and then and try to help your fellow person out there and, and that's really what's important to me so it's good to know that people take it to heart so thank you Jordan Hill for doing that and thank you everyone else who who carries around that message and it's not really even my message it's just a message of goodwill that you know the world can be a better place and, and I'm really happy that I get to do what I do every day I'm happy that I get to make videos that make other people happy that's the main point of joy in my life and that's why I'm so passionate about what I do and I'm passionate about what I do in that I have to enjoy what I do or else I wouldn't do it but I don't think I'm ever not going to be happy that I get to do this and make people out there laugh and make people out there smile and inspire people to do some good in the world. That's so important to me and I'm glad that it's important to you guys out there. So thank you very much for listening to me. <laughs> That's all really. Mark, will you ever continue making your American history lessons? Yes, I definitely plan to do more of those because that was something that was going to be the start of a project. If you guys don't know what he's talking about, he's talking about my 4th of July a Markiplier history lesson, which is a totally true telling of what history was all about for the 4th of July. And also there was an animation made uh, for my Thanksgiving, or no, when Thanksgiving, when the Pilgrims first arrived in America. Like that's, that, that was another thing. There was an animation made about that. I'll put the links in the description as well. But uh, there was a whole big thing and I was gonna make a big series out of it, but other stuff got in the way. I'm, I'm only one guy. I, I didn't have a lot of time. So I'm hoping now that I have, you know, my friends helping me that I'm gonna have a lot more time to do the things that I want to do and do the things that are more amazing than just let's plays you know I say amazing it's not amazing but more interesting than let's plays all the time not that I'm ever gonna slow down on let's plays you know some people are worried about that just because I'm doing more sketches like all right where are the gameplay it's like gameplay is still coming don't worry about it. I'm not always gonna do that but I always like to mix in more things because when I went on YouTube what I originally wanted to do was sketch videos, so the mixture of the two and constantly doing new things is what really inspires me to, you know, do more creatively. So, as so long as I'm always pushing myself to do more stuff creatively, I'm never going to get bored with what I do here, so. And I'm never going to get bored with the fact that people enjoy what I make, so that's really cool. Any more impossible Let's Plays planned? Yes, in addition to the other things, same spiel, I have a lot of stuff that I want to do, just... I need more time. Like, the thing is time. Time kills everything. Time is the only thing that I don't have an unlimited amount of, uh, but 
I am getting better at organizing my time so that I have more time to do what I want to do. It'll get better! Eventually! <laughs> Alright, so thank you everybody so much for watching this reading your comments. I really appreciate everyone's comments. And also I'm gonna be trying to reply to more people in the comments section below. Again, it's a time thing. Like, what do I want to spend my time on? What can I afford to spend my time on so that I can make sure that everything gets done in a timely manner? And I've been sticking to the schedule fairly well, it's just that today... Technical problems got in the way and everything got moved for it. I had to work on stuff early this morning. It's a big spiel, no excuse. They're gonna stick to 8 and 12 every day. It's been pretty good about that. I will make sure that stays from now on. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And then remember, write your comments down in the comment section below for what you want read in the next video. Thanks again, everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!